Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, October 30th of 2024. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, and this is a recording previous to the U.S. session, open about an hour and a half or so. All right, so what a week we are having. What a, what a great way to, uh, for the NASDAQ to uh, come out, out, out of that that out of that range i've been speaking about this that i probably know a breakout was going to be happening i favor to the upside and it did as companies yesterday as you know as far as, as first acts go alpha this report was an intimidatingly good debut for big tech earnings this week and the uh, google parent provided a model of what a strong quarter should look like for companies investing heavily in artificial intelligence now, NASDAQ, the NASDAQ 100, is looking to beat a new record ahead of major tech earnings releases. And we're going to get, we're going to get Reddit, Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon, uh, later on in the week on Thursday, tomorrow. Uh, this is the busiest week for earnings of this cycle with consumer confidence on the rise ahead of all the echo data later this week and the election next week. So, as I speculate, the fluctuation for the NASDAQ is to the upside. Yeah, right now we are in the red, but if as you look, as you analyze the chart, market fluctuation, you know, not, you know, price action, we saw how in how it opened up, gap up, okay, it has been closed. Now from here is a great setup to the upside. 20, 2700 ish could be that psychological level of support if it does continue to move lower, but I am favoring longs. 20,800 is my first level of resistance. And from here on, higher looking to reach uh, that all time high uh, made of 20,982, or 21,000, let's say. Uh, for the NASDAQ, uh, obviously that today may not be happening, but nevertheless, it is in the radar, so we still have uh, Tomorrow uh, to close out the month, and then on month on Friday we have honestly no uh, NFP. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, being being long, being bullish, buying the asset, the index, the uh, S and P as well. So being right now, yeah, as in this daily chart, yeah, we see also open up with a small gap up. It will trade to the upside during the uh, London session, but it has obviously uh, do a little pullback, retracement, correction, if you will. Uh, and I, I speculate, obviously, for this to move higher as well, along with spear of the NASDAQ. The Dow Jones Industrial has a more of a sell model. Uh, yesterday, it did fluctuate to the downside. So... Let's just use the 50 day moving average as our possible level of support. And let's use the uh, 20 day moving average within the uh, Bollinger's band, which is the medium line, as our probable level of resistance. So, what will we do we, if you see? We basically are still in the range from last week. Uh, so, this is Thursday, uh, uh, market fluctuation to the downside. So if we happen to do continue to move lower, we could we probably come down and, and test that low of uh, of last week and see if from here we rebound to the upside. Obviously, reporting from some of the companies will help, obviously. But right now, going with the trends of selling. Then we have the Russell, which also has a more of a same look as the Dow. We are within Friday's range. And we basically are right there at the medium of last of, of Friday's range, our trading range. Okay, and the and the twenty day moving average is sitting right below the market, so we could probably go, come out and see if we could do a reversal of that of the twenty day moving average to the upside, obviously. So setting up for a, for a buy position, uh, one that happens. And then we have crude oil. So yesterday crude oil fluctuated uh, even lower out of the. $68 towards the 67, which it uh, continued to fluctuate towards the uh, lower bottom your band. And from here it rebounded and say, uh, today we are kind of recuperating. So any more recuperation, we need to obviously make sure that we are trading above the $68, which is a psychological 
resistance level so far and see if we do a, a, a throwback to that level and then rebound towards the upside looking to reach that high uh, where the market was opened up after that gap down on Friday. I mean, on, on Monday, actually, sorry, on Monday. So keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Then we're gonna have, take a look at Nat Gas. Nat Gas, okay, so Nat Gas opened with a gap up, but it quickly sold off. It's, it's trading below the 50 day moving average. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm using this support level, which is obviously, uh, it's a double bottom for me in a way because you know the, the wicks are about the same. So will they come down here again and test that that support again? That could probably happen unless it starts you know, to recuperate now and move to the upside. There is a lot of demand picking up for, for that gas. So this could just be you know uh just taking a, a, a an opportunity uh for positioning better in the in the asset gold all right so gold uh we are again new uh, we have made new territories 2780 and change actually we, we had 2783.984 so we did that 2800 is the uh the next target i'm gonna continue to be bullish on gold so keep that in mind our first level of support is 2760 which the market had previously uh coming created last week and so therefore um that's where that's my first level of support uh and we have obviously this channel for us to guide us how the market will most likely fluctuate towards the upside so being long gold buying gold then we have the um, silver which it opened up with a small tiny gap down has been closed but it continued to move lower profit taken so do you see this level right here oh, this, this could be an excellent level of support so that's where I'm gonna bring my puppy of my support here. And let's see if we do a reversal to the upside. I'm still being long, being bullish with silver, with the metals indeed. So copper, right, so copper after it's been in this this tight range and so and again it's right there. Um will today do a you know, a breakout to the downside or will the breakout to the upside? And recover and just flip right above the 50 moving average or will you stay here i mean this this uh this is very uh you know not a something common that you see every single day and we've been here we started this after this from the middle of the month on the 15th so for now i will stay out of copper it's not giving me any direction All right so bitcoin Bitcoin, Bitcoin, just making making high seventy five. This is this this is giving about seventy five our uh, first level, and then seventy four our second. Our level of support, our first level of support is going to be the seventy thousand psychological number, and then we're going to be doing sixty eight as our second level of support. So first resistance. Here, second resistance, first support, second support. All right. So, I mean, let's see. If if Trump wins, there's the uh, consensus that hey, Bitcoin will continue rallying. He is a pro bit user, Bitcoin user. All right. So. Then we have the currencies which are looking to sustain again. See, 108, that's what I've been saying. Uh, but we do have that 200 day moving average right above that. So let's see if today we'll be able to fluctuate to the upside and just have a nice moment to be being picked up. The pound is just really within yesterday's range. Again, 129 is going to be the psychological support level for it. Right now, obviously, you'd be going with a trend, but I'm still being hopeful that. It could be moving higher. So dollar index fluctuated to the downside earlier today, but it's recovering. It's just creating a, another covenant of congestion. This side was you no know, out of movement. Our size on the front line of entering or bot territory. So uh, that's it for me today. Keep a, have a great trading day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.